Hello, today we're going to be demonstrating a hair and skin analysis on our APM Pro 300 device. So we're going to begin by clicking on the drop down menu and selecting the analysis button. This is going to bring us to an unregistered customer where we're just going to choose the age group and the gender as well as European for skin type. Okay, so we're gonna close out the drop down menu by clicking on the top right hand corner and we're going to begin by hair loss status. This is going to be the first analysis and it's just gonna be a top of the head photo about a foot or six inches away from the top of the head and then we're also going to do this for the side of the head as well. So once you take your two photos, go ahead and click on analysis. Once you click on analysis, you will be able to choose from the different types of hair loss patterns. So I'm just going to match my client's profile with the profile that I see in the sample photos here. And that's going to give me a hair loss pattern type for my client. Once I choose my hair loss type, I'll go ahead and click the check mark in the top right hand corner and I'll be prompted with my five star rating that'll confirm that the analysis is complete. The next analysis that we're going to be doing is scalp status and this is going to be looking at the overall health of the scalp. So I'm going to be using my APM 202 lens and this has 60 to 200 magnification and I'm going to be focusing directly on the scalp and looking for any areas that might be irritated, dry, oily, hair loss. We're kind of focusing on everything here. And as you can see, once I click analysis, there's going to be about 25 different sample photos that I can go through and choose from. And this is going to help guide me and I can match um, my client's profile with one of the sample pictures that best matches. So I know my client is a little bit on the oily side, so I'm going to go ahead and choose oily four, and then I'm just gonna click the check mark on the top right hand corner, and I will be provided with her star rating. Moving on, we're going to be measuring the hair density. So with the same lens, I'm going to be focusing again on the scalp and we're going to focus on any areas where a client is suffering from hair loss. This is the area that we're going to be treating, so this is where we're going to want to measure the hair density. Once I capture my photo, I'm going to be prompted with three different options for counting the hair density. I can use one, two, or a three, and those are for the hairs growing out of a single pore. So this is going to be counting the hairs in the photo. And based off of this photo, it's gonna give me an average hair per square centimeter. You wanna make sure that you're only counting the hairs that you see physically growing out of the scalp and no hairs that are going across the screen or miscellaneous hairs. I'll see two numbers at the bottom. The number in parentheses is going to be the number of hairs I counted in this photo, and the top number is going to be the average hair count per square centimeter. So once I save the analysis, I'll be prompted with my star rating and we can move forward. And once you receive your star rating, you can go ahead and swipe over to the next analysis. Our next analysis is going to be keratin of the scalp, and this is basically going to be looking at any product buildup on the scalp, any dry flakes or dandruff, basically anything on the scalp that shouldn't be there that might need a deep cleansing or exfoliation. This could also include psoriasis. So as you can see here, we're using a special lighting with the same lens.
Once I capture the photo, it's going to automatically analyze the picture for me. So it's going to pull out any of the flakes, product buildup, dryness that it sees through the software, and it's going to automatically give me my star rating. So then I can move on to the next analysis, and this is going to be exposure of scalp's vessel. So this is going to be any redness or irritation, and I can always ask the client if they experience any discomfort or itchiness before proceeding with this photo. This analysis is still using the 202 lens, and once I capture my photo, the software is also going to automatically detect any redness, sensitivity, or irritation on this analysis as well. Before we move on to our next analysis, which is going to be hair thickness, we need to make sure to change the lens to the APM203 lens. Now you can see here, it says APM203, and it's going to tell you this for each analysis, what lens you need to be using. If you press on the gray button below the lens on the back, it'll pop out and you will be able to switch lens properly without breaking anything. This is also how you're going to put on the lens. Make sure it's facing upright with the APM203 facing towards the ceiling. Push the gray button in and you will be able to slide the lens in. So for hair thickness, we're going to be taking just a few strands and placing them on our finger. We want to focus on one or two hairs specifically because we're going to be measuring the diameter of the hair. So once I capture my photo, and again, I'm only focusing on one or two strands of hair in this, I'm going to be dragging from one end to the other end. My client's measurement is 0 0.089, which is above the average of 0 0.075 millimeters. Moving on to hair pore status, we're still using the APM203 lens. And to activate the camera, I'm just going to tap the screen there. And here we are focusing on the hair pore, so where the hair follicle is and where the hair is growing out of. And this is going to be basically measuring the overall health of the hair pore. So again, we are going to be looking at an oily pore, a sensitive pore, we could be looking at hair loss, inflammation, dry. We really just wanna focus on one hair pore where the hair follicle is growing. Once I do so, I'm going to be able to compare my client's photo to the different sample photos, again, provided in the software. Once I've matched up my photo with the sample photo, I'll go ahead and click the check mark at the top and this will give me my results. As you can see here, we received three stars, which is going to be care needed. The last analysis that we're going to be doing is cuticle status. Now for this, I'm going to be switching lenses one last time and this is going to be with the APM204 lens, which uses 500 to 1000 magnification and we're going to be looking at cuticle damage and cuticle health. We're gonna be taking the photo the same way that we did with hair thickness. So I'm just focusing on a few strands of hair. I'm gonna place them on my finger just to make the photo process easier. And we're going to be trying to look at the cuticle damage. For female clients, you'll want to focus more towards the end of the hair so you can detect damage. We're obviously focusing on the top of the head here just for demonstration purposes. Once I capture my photo and I click on analysis, I'm going to see different sample photos looking at what a healthy cuticle should look like, damaged cuticle, extremely damaged. So we're just going to match up your client's picture with 
one of the sample photos and we'll go ahead and click the check mark once we have that saved. Once I have that saved, I'm going to see my star rating down at the bottom and then I'm going to swipe over and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the results page. I'm going to demonstrate how to retake a photo really quick. I'm just going to tap again on the bottom right hand corner of the photo screen and this will activate the camera and here I'm just going to show a quick demonstration of what a pre-lightened damaged cuticle would look like on your client. As you can see, when I save the damaged cuticle, our star rating changes and my client now needs intensive care for cuticle. Once you've finished with cuticle status, this is going to wrap up the consultation. I'm going to click the drop down menu from the top right hand corner and we're going to take a look at my results page. So as you can see here, it's going to give us the hair loss type as well as the hair density. If I swipe over one more time, I'm going to be prompted with a chart, and this is going to be based off your client's star ratings. So as you can see here, scalp status and cuticle status both have a blinking light. This is where my client received one or two stars being intensive care. And if I click on either of these, I can choose recommended product and recommend them any products or services that I've uploaded into the software. Also, everything in the center of the chart is going to be where your client received five stars and everything in the middle is going to be where your client received three or four stars. If I want to go ahead and send this information to my client, I can click on the top right hand corner. The three dots there is going to give me a drop down menu where I can send an email. It's going to pull up Gmail and I can input their Gmail and this is going to send as a zip file with all of the pictures that we took during the consultation along with the results page as well. I can also send this information to myself if I want to store it on a separate computer in a different CRM. If I want to have the files saved somewhere else, everything is going to be saved initially on this software on the device. Once I click the home button from the drop down menu on the top left hand corner, I'll be asked if I want to save the analysis. At this point, I can either create a new profile or save it into an existing client's profile, or I can choose not to save the analysis at all. At any time, you can go back into the client's profile to access the consultation. You can also compare two consultations at this point by clicking on the check marks on the side and choosing compare. This will allow you to compare before and after any services or treatment plans. Now that we've taken a look at hair scalp and hair cuticle, we're gonna go ahead and move on to skin analysis. To switch over to skin analysis, tap the icon on the bottom left hand corner and then we're going to go down to analysis and begin by entering the client's gender and age group. To begin the analysis, we're going to start with moisture. As you can see, that icon is highlighted and once it brings me to the hydration and elasticity screen, I will tap on the screen and wait until it says touch to skin. Most often you're going to be placing the sensor on the lens against the cheek and it will provide you with a graph and measurements of hydration and elasticity. The next analysis is going to be sebum and we're going to be using the oil strips that come in the APM box. So I'm going to grab two of those, one for the U zone and one for the T zone. And I'm simply pressing this against my client's forehead for the T zone and for the U zone I'm going to be pressing against her cheek. Once you've done so, go ahead and set these two strips aside. 
they're not going to be reusable and again for this analysis we're measuring the sebum and the oil production in the skin. Please make sure to remember which strip corresponds with the U zone and the T zone and I'm going to be taking a picture of the strip as you can see here it picks up all of the oil and the analysis is going to detect that once I've taken the two photos. Once you've captured both photos, make sure to click on analysis and your results will be prompted at the bottom of the screen with the star rating. One more time, we're just showing how to take the pictures here and where to focus on with the lens. Next, we're going to be taking a look at pore and this is going to be measuring pore size. So I'm going to be taking a picture usually around the cheek or nose area or wherever the client has noticeably larger or congested pores. When I choose analysis, this is gonna automatically detect the pores. Also, if I click on compare, I can see different sample photos of what a good, normal, and bad pore look like. Also, if I wanna take a look at 3D imaging, I can use that to see how deep the pores go in certain areas. Swiping over to melanin, this is going to be measuring any hyperpigmentation or dark spots on the skin, discoloration. Um, my client has makeup on so we cannot see exactly what melanin may look like, but I'll be focusing on any areas on the face that may have this hyperpigmentation. When I choose analysis, it's going to automatically detect that for me and give me my star rating. I can also compare as well and look at the different sample photos for melanin and hyperpigmentation. Next we're going to be taking a look at acne and this is going to detect any acne bacteria in the skin. Once I activate the lens, I'm going to be able to see moving around on the face. I'm looking for any red or orange sort of clogged pores. This is actually gonna be the acne bacteria in the skin. So most likely this can be found on the chin or on the nose, oftentimes the cheeks as well. I can also click on compare here and show different sample photos for acne bacteria as well. Next we're going to be taking a look at wrinkle and this is going to be measuring the crow's feet in particular, so around the eye area. So I'm going to take the photo on the corners of my client's eye and we're going to be measuring the depth of the wrinkles here. I can still measure the wrinkles in other areas, but the star rating is only going to be based off of the eye area. This analysis also has the 3D imaging feature, so if I click on that I can also look at the depth of the wrinkle. As you can see here when I click on compare, this is showing sample photos from the eye area. The last analysis is going to be sensitivity and this is going to be looking at any redness or rosacea your client may have. So I'm going to focus on any areas in particular that my client experiences redness or sensitivity. We can also look at the broken capillaries and blood vessels through this analysis as well. And when I hit compare, I can see the different sample photos. Now that the analysis is complete, I can go up at the top and go to show all results. And this is going to provide me with a breakdown of the hydration, elasticity, and sebum. If I swipe over one more time, I can see a graph of where my client's results land and recommend them products based off of those results. 
Before exiting the analysis, you'll be able to save the results into your client's profile and that'll complete the analysis. That concludes our instructional video for today. Thank you so much for watching.